Hi, I'm Kurt Loder with MTV News. Def Leppard guitarist Steve Clark died in his sleep at his home in London on Monday night at the age of 30. It was a particularly sad loss for a band that's had more than its share of heartaches over the last 13 years. Here's the story. Like many another rock star before him, Steve Clark was an ordinary working class kid whose life was changed by rock and roll. You know, played classic guitar for a couple of years and then one day I heard Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin playing this riff for the uh, song How Many More Times and that was it. I threw the classic guitar through the window and I said, that's what I do when I play rock music. Punk rock was all the rage in England in the late 70s, but Clark was a hard rocker and he found a group of kindred teenage spirits in a fledgling band called Def Leppard. They debuted with an EP in 1979, and by 1983 were going multi-platinum with their third album, Pyromania, which featured one of Clark's best riffs on the hit single, Photograph. Fame and fortune beckoned, but Clark and his Def Leppard mates were determined not to let success turn them into heavy metal cartoons. Whatever it feels right, and we'll be the first people to know, you know, uh, when it doesn't it, it it'll become obvious at some point it'd be like getting on the stage now wearing spandex no along with all the success Def Leppard had plenty of problems it already lost founding guitarist Pete Willis and then as work on the group's fourth LP got underway drummer Rick Allen lost his left arm in a car crash the album seemed to be on permanent hold but Allen bounded back into the drum seat with the aid of computer drum technology and when hysteria was finally released it took Def Leppard all the way to the top of the US charts But all the fame and fortune in the world couldn't help Steve Clark kick his drinking problem. And in the end, Def Leppard's remarkable success couldn't save his life either. Def Leppard guitarist Steve Clark, dead at 30. That's the news for now. We'll be back with more later here on MTV.